to introduce our distinguished guest of honor and speaker, may we call on Executive Secretary Salvador C. Medialdea. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The President of the Republic of the Philippines, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Thank you. Can you sit down? The Executive Secretary Salvador Medellia, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez, Transportation Secretary Artur Tugade, and other members of the Cabinet, Honorable members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, Banco Central and Filipinas Governor, Banco ng Pilipinas, Benjamin Jokno, officials of the Asian Development Bank led by Vice President Amit Said, fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before I start with the money. I hope that the notes that we signed together with uh, uh, the normal uh, Central Bank Governor, wag sana madivalyo sa panahon natin. Nandyan yung firma natin. Make sure that it will always uh, retain its original value. Not only the paper, but uh, well, anyway, uh, I'm among friends. Bakit ikaw ayaw mong tumingin sa akin, Berna? How is your love life? Good. It is an honor for me to join the hardworking officials and employees of government-owned and controlled corporations as we celebrate GOCC's day. I am glad to note that the efforts of the Department of Finance in ensuring the financial health of the GOCC's and other entities. Indeed, the success of our GOCC's is crucial to the achievement of our national development agenda. Through the years, the remittances have gone a long way in helping us fund our most important infrastructure project and social programs. Let me take this opportunity to thank our GOCCs for the 40 billion peso remittance for 2018, a 32 increase from the 27 figure and the highest in 25 years. Believe. Uh, saludo ako sa inyo. Uh, at least may natutunan ako sa economics. Yung, I encourage you further to intensify your efforts towards efficiency, effectiveness, responsiveness, and your respective organization. Among the initiatives in our national government agenda that is financially backed by GOCC remittances at the 53-kilometer Malolos Clark Railway Project, or the MCRP, worth more than six billion US dollars, this will be the country's first airport express railway service. The project also highlights the crucial role of the ASEAN Development Bank in bolstering our country's infrastructure development program. The loan facility of ADP has provided for initiatives such as the MCRP and has indeed complemented our GOCC's remittances towards achieving our national development agenda. I am directing the Department of Transportation 
to fast track the completion of the MCRP and observe the highest quality standards as we complete this railway project. By the time it is completed, expect that our people, especially those from Central Luzon, will greatly feel the impact of our build, build, build program. As we pursue these endeavors, I expect to embody the excellence, integrity, and accountability of us here in government as we journey towards inclusive and sustainable growth. Be assured that you have my full support as we advance the common good and bring the Philippines to greater heights of progress. May salamat dito, but I'd like to uh, just give you an extra news for the day. Uh, I was reading the the dossier uh, from all intelligence sources, and uh, I am, um, if I can dismiss them, I will be dismissing something like 64 customs employees. In the meantime, the, the cases are being heard in obedience of the rule of the right to be heard. I want them to be here in Malacanan. Uh, my views is that uh, help me craft a new implementing rules of how not to rob a country properly. So, I will be asking them to report here. And um, from the sources that I have commissioned, Akinla, I would have cut down corruption by a third or one half. But most of them, yung Nanjana, uh, we will be filing charges, 64 of them. So at this early, they might be also learning the what's going on here, and uh, they are also hearing us. Uh, it's a simple case of you resign or I fall charges, and that goes for all of us. We are workers of government, and we serve the people. Period. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your message, our beloved president.